All right, so let's go over this, guys. It says, here you have a quadrilateral. Determine if it's a rectangle, a square, or a rhombus. Now, I liked a lot of you plotted the points. And I was actually very, very happy to see that. Because just by plotting the points, for those of you that did them correctly, you guys could come to a conclusion. Now, we still needed to justify your statement. But a lot of you, if you did, if you plotted it correctly, then you guys were able to assume, hey, I think this is a square or a rectangle or a rhombus because you could easily um, go ahead and determine the lengths. Uh, Mario, this is your second warning for that. Yes? What problem is this? This is question number eight on page 79. Okay. So, so the first thing I always want to do is plot the points. And I was very happy to see that majority of the students were able to do this. Because you guys were obviously listening to me and say, hey, even if you don't know how to do the problem, at least plot the points, right? Because did some of you guys come to a conclusion if it was a square, a rhombus, or a <laughs> rectangle just by looking at the figure? Yep. Yes. All right, we still need to prove it, but a lot of you are able to come to that conclusion. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, 4. 1, 2, 3, positive 1. And negative 1, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are the correct points? That doesn't look right. Okay. Is it? Oh, negative one five. Wait, negative one five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. What's wrong? One, two, three, one. OK, there it is. Wow, I plotted these wrong, and I'm telling you to plot them wrong. OK, so that's what it looks like. Now, this looks like a square, right? It looks pretty similar. But again, guys, before we can be able to determine a square, there's a couple things we need to do in between it's a square or a rhombus. So let's go back and draw an example of a square, an example of a rhombus, and an example of a rectangle, all right? And the thing I want you guys to understand about a square and a rhombus, I'm sorry, a square and a um, rectangle is that the perpendiculars, or sorry, the diagonals are exactly equal in length. Do you guys see that? These, dis these two distances are exactly the same in length. These two distances are, are exactly the same in length. However, this length is not the same as that length, correct? So even though you guys can say, hey, these look like, you know, these look like these side lengths are the same, right? Um, I want to be able to show you because some of these might not be as easy as this. Now we can go and confirm this. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we know this is a square because you can easily count it like this. And this was kind of a more easier problem to do. However, I want to show you guys, what if, this, what if this rectangle was tilted, where you can't just count them, the side lengths, right? How would you be able to solve this problem? And that's why I'm at least going to go through the math problem. Yes, Damon? Uh, slope We're going to do the slope form, but before we do the slope formula, Damon, what I want to do <laughs> is do the distance formula to see if the diagonals are the same. Because if the diagonals are the same, it's either a rectangle or a square. And if the diagonals are not the same length, then we know it's a rhombus. All right. So before we do that, let's go ahead and determine the, um, so that's 3, 5, so that's Q. Make sure you label them. Negative 1, 1, which is S. R, which is, that's R. That's Q. And T. So what I'm going to do is I want to find the diagonal, or the distance of TR, and find the distance of SQ. OK? And please, guys, if you don't know the distance formula, this is not a formula that is going to be provided to you. So please make sure you guys have this written down and know it very well. Distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1. All right. And again, we already know it's a square, but let's just, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it if the problem was not as basic as this. So now, what I need to do, TR. Let's go ahead and label this as x1, x2, y2, or sorry, y1, and y2. Now, to go ahead and find them, 
I'll do the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And then sq, I'll label this as x1, y1, x2, y2. And again, we do the same thing. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay. Now we can just go and simplify. And again, we don't need to find the exact value. We don't need to approximate. We just want to make sure that they're exactly the same. So negative, three minus, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So I have negative 4 squared. 5 minus 4 plus 4 squared. 4 squared is 16, plus 16 is the square root of 32. Yes? OK. Over here, negative 1 minus, negative, negative one minus 3 is negative 4. Negative, so I have negative 4 squared here. 1 minus 5 is plus negative 4 squared. Now remember, when you're squaring a negative number, that means you're multiplying that negative number by itself. So negative 4 times negative 4 would be positive 16. So therefore, again, we have 16 plus 16 which is 32. So can you guys see now that these diagonals are exactly the same? Can you guys see that? OK? So therefore, since a rhombus, since one of the characteristics of a rhombus is it doesn't have to have the diagonals be the same length, we know it's not a rhombus. Or we want to get at least a little bit more detail than what this is going to be. Now, there is one thing, though, that's, that is consistent about a rhombus. I don't know why I just uh, erased it, because I actually wanted to show you this. So now, what's the difference between a rectangle and a square? Well, yeah, a rectangle has two side lengths right, that are equal, and a, and a square has all the side lengths that are equal. But another property of, rec of squares and of rhombuses is that the diagonals are perpendicular. So that means their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Um, Zach, that might not be the best use of time right now. So what we can do now is determine the slopes. Now remember the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So again, we're going to use the same points, use the same diagonals, and determine the slope. And to determine that they're perpendicular, we want to make sure that they're opposite reciprocals. For instance, if one slope was um, 1 fourth, then the other slope needs to be a negative 4 over 1. Opposite reciprocals. All right, So let's go and determine them uh, for each of these. So I'll determine this slope here. So again, I just do the same thing um, for tr. So I do 5 minus 1 over negative 1 minus 3. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Negative 1 minus 3 is going to equal negative 4, which equals negative 1. Then I go and determine the slope here, which is 1 minus 4 over negative 1 minus 3. And that equals 1 minus 4, which is negative 3 over negative 1. No, that's not right. What is that? Negative 1 minus 5. I was thinking ahead. 1 minus 5, which is negative 4 over negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4, which equals positive 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. These are opposite slopes, and they are reciprocals of each other. I have 1 over 1 and negative 1 over 1. Yes? OK, so like, the way you wrote x2, did you get that wrong before you just put the line over it and decide to when you write like that? I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, do you have to have the line over the x2? You're not, it's not a side. <coughs> uh, you mean talking about Laban laying as a side? It's a, yeah, but it's a line that you're creating, right? So it's not like a line on the side. If, yeah, if you're going to be talking about the side QR, then yes, I'd like you to put a line over it on top. And we'll get over that in the next um, assignment or uh, the next homework quiz. But for this one, you're kind of creating this line. It's not actually a line, a part of the problem. So you know, it's OK just to leave it as um, SQ without a line on top. Because you're actually, it's, it's actually just the distance between. It's actually not a line that's a part of the figure. Right, because the figure only has the sides and the and the points. But good question. Any other questions? Good. Okay. So that was a very long problem that took me nine minutes to discuss.